Hey guys, welcome back to Ashley and Amphibians and Reptiles. So, one second. Let's just... So, oh, that's not better. Never mind. No, cut the camera. Alright, so, now that that's better. Um, <laughs> so, today we're going to be doing Bearded Dragon Care. You're looking for a beard. What's wrong with you, too? You're looking for a beard uh, lizard, an animal, um, and you want a beard dragon. Well, of course you're gonna need to know how to care for them first. So let's figure out how to care for them. Um, yeah. What's up? Yeah. All right. So first things first, you're gonna need a cage for your beard dragon. So what cage do you need? Well, the cage size you're going to need is a minimum of a 40-gallon cage. This is what Meliodas is in right now, and he they can live in a happy life in one of these. This is the minimum requirements. But you can also go up to a 70-gallon or a 120-gallon. Um, you can get this awesome 120-gallon custom cage. I'm pretty sure you can customize it yourself. I don't know. I just... No, that Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles has it. So, anyway, I, I want to get one of those for Mel in the future. That says Asher's Amphibians and Reptiles in the back, but we won't get into that. Um, so, a 120-gallon closure link will be in the description from Cages. That's what's called, Cages. With the K, Cages. Did you get that? All right, good. So, we talked about the cage, the cage you're going to need. So now let's talk about the, what are we going to talk about again? Oh yeah, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the bedding, the bedding you're going to need for the bottom of your blue dragon's enclosure. So that is not a poop, by the way. That's just folded stuff. Anyway, um, the bedding, you can use like what I use, paper towel, or you could use a sand or you could even use, um, I'm pretty sure that's, or oh, tile, tile. Um, the sands, sand is okay, but the stuff you're going to want to stick away from is calcium sand and builder sand. Um, I know with builder sand, it is very, like, you can grab it and squeeze it in your hand and go like this, and it'll keep its shape. If the beer dragon eats that, it can cause impaction and I'll put impaction right here or something but in because I'm dumb so let's put it right here but impaction is when basically when your animal eats something it shouldn't and it like gets stuck if that makes sense I'm pretty sure or well, like I said it's, it was on it was right here before um so yeah just stick away from place builder sand play sand's fine Builder sand and calcium sand. I know that there's like exoterra sands. It's not calcium sand, but it's an actual sand and that can work. It's just gonna be more expensive. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. All right, camera, good. Um, all right, so now let's move on to, uh, oh, decor. So decor is like stuff to keep their mind mentally stimulated. Um, you're gonna need a cave for them to basically sleep in or sit on top of. You're gonna need a hammock for them to also sleep in. And you're gonna need a food dish. Oh, speaking of food dish, you just pooped in your food dish. Cut the camera. Okay, so you have been sorted out. I'll let you son. Um, so you're gonna need a food di you're gonna need a cave, a hammock for them to sleep in. Both those for sleeping or climbing on top of. You're gonna need a water dish, a food dish, and the water has to be like a dechlorinated water. You can see them right there. Dechlorinated water or I think it's tap water? No, 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 no. No, you bad person. You almost put tap water in your guy's cage. 
No tap. Was it like this before? No tap water. No. You sickos. Anyway, um, so Dark Candy, don't do tap water. Do um, bottled water, well water, distilled water, anything that doesn't have chlorine in it. Actually, no, not distilled water. Not distilled water. Distilled water is basically rain. Rain, I can't talk. Rain is basically distilled water because um, when the rain comes down, it doesn't have all the other stuff in it, it's just pure H2O. But when it goes into like a bucket and it sits there for a little while, it gets all the other, um, is it chemicals? I think it's chemicals in there, but they're good chemicals. Um, so yeah, don't do distilled water. Just bottled or tap water that has been treated with, um, that has been treated with, um, like a water, like a dechlorinated thing. It'll, I'll put it in the description below, Amazon, like, maybe. Um, hopefully Prime. Um, but then you're also gonna need, like I said, a food dish. And uh, if you don't have tile, a piece of tile to file down their nails <coughs> so that their nails don't get too long, although they're not going to really file down their nails, you're going to need to clip their nails. And if you want to see that video, leave a comment. Okay, you could also add sticks and other branches. I know, I'm, I'm crazy today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can also add sticks and other branches um, into the cage. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just a kind of another stick to his hammock. That would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would, that's what I would do. Um, so yeah. Um, just for like more stuff to climb on basically. So to keep their mind mentally stimulated. You can also do a bioactive cage for them. And if you want to see that, you're never going to see it because I don't really feel like doing a bioactive cage. Although I might do a bioactive cage. That's a lie. That's a lie. I'm planning on doing a bioactive cage. I mean, well, no, I'm not planning. No. Um, all right, so you, or you can add rocks and all that kind of fun stuff. But now, you've got all that stuff, let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing is lighting. Lighting is, basically, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a heat bulb and a UVB bulb. So, for the heat bulb, I recommend an 150 or 100 watt. And um, that would go over, you could do it over top of the cave, like what I do, or make, or if you have a space, put it under like a wall on like a piece of cork bug or something. So that works too. And you're gonna need, it should say, if it's exoteric, it should say on the box, like how far you need it. Uh, away and then like the, yeah. I'm, it should be, the basking spot should be 90 to 105 Fahrenheit, not Celsius. I don't know. Yeah, not Celsius. <laughs> it would be dead. So if, if you want, I mean, if you want a dead bearded dragon, do that. But I don't think you want a dead bearded dragon. So um, make sure it has a tube light because the tube light is, it goes over top and it has more UVB rays and instead of just having UVB in one spot, it has UVB throughout the entire enclosure. Like the video you were seeing on the screen. All right, so lighting is pretty easy. Uh, make sure I change that UVB bulb every um, every six months because even though the light's still working, the there's no UVB in there. So you gotta change it. All right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, for maintenance, you are going to need to clean up any poops that are like, that, uh, yeah, clean up any poops as soon as possible because then they'll make a mess of it and then you'll have to give them a bath. Um, and if they poop on the paper towel, like he pooped on the food dish, but if they poop on the paper towel, then, uh, why did I do that? Uh, then you have to change the entire thing. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You have to change, yeah, the entire thing. Change that. I just pooped. Change that water daily. I'm getting really distracted. I got a lot of energy. But change that water daily, 
and change, like I said, that light bulb every six months. You are also going to need to change, uh, change, give a salad daily. And going salad, let's move on to the, the next one. All right, so now we're moving on to salads. Beauty dragons can eat all sorts of salads. They can eat collard greens, mustard greens, squash. I'll have a whole list below. They can also eat blueberries, raspberries. And, but that list is really helpful because it shows like when you need to feed them like what time like really or daily or occasionally so it's kind of like that so it's really easy but we should also move on to bugs bugs are um for adults this is a care guide for adults by the way so if you want me to do a baby care guide for your dragons leave a comment but anyway for adults you are going to it's either it's either, sorry, it's either, come on camera, look. It's either 80% vegetables and 20% bugs or 60% vegetables and 60% um, vegetables and 40% bugs. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, the bugs they will eat, they will eat um, dubio roaches. Um, hi, hello. Uh, they'll eat super worms. They'll eat wax worms. They'll eat silk worms, horned worms, crickets, mealworms. But I'd stay away from crickets and mealworms because crickets and mealworms can have parasites, and the crickets could actually give beer drain salmonella on their belly. Yeah, it's not good. But um, <clears throat> it's not good. So yeah, I would just stay away from those and just do like super worms because they're so much better. Yeah, and they don't change into a, into like beetles. Yeah. <laughs> um, so with the salad, you're gonna wanna finely chop those little lettuce lettuce salads. And for I recommend one of those things where it's like you put the salad and the veg and the like butternut squash in like this jar, and then you stick it on top and pull it. And there's blades that spin around, chop it up. I recommend one of those, put it in the description below. Go check that out. Um, but yeah, I'll put it in the description below. But, um, oh, what was I saying? But yeah, so use those, give it to them daily, recommend it in the morning. Um, but yeah, I would recommend if you have school, like me, you do it, you make your salad at night, so in the morning you can just go grab it put stuff on, put their salad in, and then just leave. Yeah. Um, so, uh, with the bugs, feed them the bugs. For at least Meliodas, he will not eat the salad unless there's bugs in it. So he'll eat the bugs first, and then he'll go eat the salad, which is, which is okay. But with some, they're picky, and they will only eat the bugs. So you have to wait to feed them the bugs and just give them the salad, and then maybe later in the day, throw the bugs in there. So that's what I found um, with mine, but all beer dragons are different. They have their own unique personality, and that's what makes them so awesome. Um, let's just say something. It was it was good, but it can't come to mind. Oh yeah, so you're going to want to dust their cat their worms with either the stuff. It's reptivitamin with. D3, so it has the vitamins plus the D3. Calm down, table. And this stuff, this is calcium plus D3. So both of them have D3. Both of them have D3, but this is kind of just like a powder. Focus camera. Come on. Yeah, see, it's just kind of a powder. They're both like that. And this is more like flour consistency and this one's like salt so this one's like salt so something fell but anyway you know I do not these every day so I'll put this one on the salad I'll leave this one on the table and this one will be in the shelf and then I'll switch it out so I do this one every second day that doesn't make sense but anyway so like that so I'll 
dust it with this, and then I'll leave this on here, and this is in the cupboard. And then, so I open the cupboard, I put this back in there, and then I dust it with this, if that makes sense. That's what I do. <clears throat> so yeah, that is the diet. I think I covered everything for diet. Oh my goodness, it looked pale. All right, moving right on to So I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'm 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 pretty sure. Um so yeah, thank you guys for watching. There's all that stuff. And if you want to see more beauty videos, leave a comment and a like if you wanna see more um like care guides, also leave a like. Yeah. I'll give you a sneak peek to video that's coming up. It's not really made yet, but it's like we're going to the don't, don't whisper to you. I'll whisper to you. Reptile Expo. Maybe or may, maybe not. I don't know. Stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to be epic. Um, it, I think we might go. I'm not 100% sure. I think we will. Um, but it's really weird. We don't know like how to get tickets. So, we're just kidding. If everything's like last year, we should be able to go. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I hope to see you guys real soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see an enclosure build, leave a like. It's probably not gonna happen, but just do it, cause it's just baby. And yeah, if you like these style that I was filming today, also leave a like, comment, yeah. But um, if this gets annoying, I'm sorry, but you're always gonna hear it. Don't forget to hit the like button. If, if, this is if you want to support me and make me have like a good day. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell, and share with all your friends, because or all your reptile lover friends and family, because who doesn't want to learn more? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.